dive into our cases and we'll start first with our hey Howard case and Tracy I see us uh, Mr. Mark is still under weather that you're going to take it run with tonight we appreciate you being here so without hesitation please present hey Howard case 2016-01 Chancey Development please your first case is from Chancey Development Corporation in hey Howard the request is to rezone 6.7 acres along West Stanford Street from R10, which is single family residential, to R6M for the, point, for the purpose of multifamily residences. The property is about 6.7 acres. They are proposing about a 60 unit apartment complex in duplex style apartments. The property is currently wooded and that's the site plan that shows the duplex style apartments and parking. The subject property is currently wooded. There are a variety of uses around the property. <coughs> mobile home complex next door. There are, is an apartment complex down Stanford. There is a nursery behind the property. So mixture of single families, multifamily, and a commercial type of use in the nursery. Staff reviewed the request. We understand that it's only for single family residences, but the parcel is a little bit more narrower with limited road frontage, which might make a subdivision a little bit more difficult in terms of ingress and egress. So a multifamily, given the shape of the parcel, given the road access, given the multi-uses multi around the property, an apartment complex <coughs> seems to be a fit. So staff reviewed the, comp the request and we recommend the approval with no conditions. Okay, thank you, Tracy, for presenting that. Commissioners, do we have any questions for staff on this request at this time? Yes, I just may, Mr. Um, I don't understand the comment that because of the geometric shape, right. the narrowness, that it would be better suited for multifamily housing than, rather than single family. I'm not sure I follow why that. It depends on the property, how the property would be subdivided. If it was, you know, one street with one entrance in and out, if it was subdivided like that, a single family residence subdivision might fit. If it wasn't configured like that, it might logistically have some technical issues to be in and out. So, so I will follow up with that too. So according to this plat, it is a single in, single out application? Yes. So let me... Yes, ma'am. back on that. Okay. The 30 foot vehicular lane within the development, that's a one way? It's one way in, one way out. What oh, the driveway is one way in. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. I suppose I just don't agree with the... Or maybe I just don't understand it why a multifamily, which is a higher density, <coughs> higher traffic counts, would be better suited with one single driveway than a single family, which would be less traffic count. I just don't, I, I'm not following that. I mean, that's okay. I just wanted to point that. Commissioner, any other questions for staff? Yes, do you want to ask? <coughs> no. Okay. I do have a follow-up, if I may. Commissioner Gladden, please. Uh, does the plan in front of us, does that represent the adequate um, detention area? We, the <coughs> engineering department, we did not hear any comments from the engineering department, so I cannot testify to whether it does or doesn't. You just question the signal in the back, Mr. Levin. Well, it seems that um, I'm just I'm looking at the I looked at the property. It's a heavily wooded property, and it's being pretty much clear cut and replaced with a very um, dense development. What is um, if I may let me ask one more question, Ms. Stacy uh, Trace? I'm sorry. The, what is the separation between each of the buildings? That is a good question. I can answer you in Valdosta, but unfortunately I'm not familiar with the pay hire regulation. Okay. All right. That's, that's all. Thank Any other questions? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay. There being any questions at this time, 
We will take anybody wishing to speak in favor of this request. Please come forward at this time. State your name and your address. Forest Police, your further record. My name is Clayton Milligan. Uh, I'm at 3998 in Perimeter Road. I work with Loveland Engineering. We are representing the owners for this development. And I can answer some of the questions that, uh, that have been raised um, just briefly. Again, you know, we just did a concept plan layout for, for the zone. We haven't gotten into detail of design yet. Uh, we have done some preliminary detention counts. One of the possibilities there's a uh, detention pond next door that is owned by the same owner. So one of the things we are going to pursue is essentially using that existing pond for detention and putting a drain easement over it for both parcels. Uh, the buildings are spaced at 20 feet apart, I believe, which is what the... What does that play? How many feet apart? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, be happy to answer any other questions. So, presently, you feel that this, uh, as Commissioner Gladwin brought up, that the retention pond is adequate? Yes. Again, we haven't gone into detailed calculations yet, but the, the plan right now is to potentially convert that where we're showing a pond to the green space for the development and use the, the existing pond that's next door for detention. Any questions for the center? Commissioner Reagan? I have concerns raised about the inadequacy of that little street out there. Have you talked with the city about having that street redone, widened, upgraded? Um, to West Stanfield, Mr. Reagan? Stanfield, yes, West Stanfield. Uh, that question has not been raised by... You didn't talk to the city about that? We, we had a pre, pre-application meeting with the city, but that, that question was not... Okay. <coughs> May I ask? Yes, Commissioner Blair, uh, please. That's probably something that states could have answered, but is there, um, I'm sorry, is there, a, um, is there any requirement for open space criteria in, in this development? Yes, there is, and that's one of the, one of the plays into converting that detention pond area we're showing to green space. I can't remember the percentage off the top of my head, but there is an open space requirement for the for the development. That has to be contiguous and open to all all uses. So the, the detention area itself is also gonna be considered a usable No, and that's the 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 way it's written is specifically it has to be something that they can use, not not a detention area. So that's one of the reasons um, we're looking at potentially using the adjacent pond in place of this one. So we can one. free that up to okay. be some type of playground type multi-use area that will qualify for the green space. Otherwise, we're going to have to, um, we might have to eliminate one of the buildings. After double checking with the regulations, the requirement is 500 square feet of open space per dwelling unit. It has to be in a natural state as open space or be developed as park and or open air recreation facility. 500 square feet per dwelling? Per dwelling unit. Exactly. That, that's up pretty quick. Yeah. How many potential dwelling units are there going to be here? There, there are two per building, so that's... 60. 60. So is a dwelling considered a building or the sign? The actual cost. <coughs> That's one, almost a, a three quarters of an acre? Yes, it's a pretty sizable requirement. Yeah. Clayton Zinger, your entrance drawn yet? Of the building themselves? Yes, sir. I do not believe it is. We have any rendering of the buildings themselves at this point? We did it indeed. We didn't, I think we uh, didn't drive my truck. We do have renders, yes. We do, but rendered. we do not have them with us tonight at all. Just curious what it looks like. There, the plan is right now it's going to be a duplex, a duplex unit, and I believe three <coughs> bedrooms. Three bedrooms or two? Uh, a mix. A mix of both. That's so three and two bedroom units. Mr. Chairman. Where is the detention pond going to be if you utilize the one that's on the drawing here? You said you got another one somewhere? It's just 
Please, is, is that going to be on, is that the detention pod there? Yeah. That's the existing one. Yes. You can see that here. This one here? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> uh, mobile home park. Did it. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll survey that and run all the calculations to make sure there's adequate capacity. We're not just going to use it. But yeah. now we'll have to go through uh, city, city drainage review and pass all the the drainage requirements before. But like I said, we're, we have not gotten into detailed design yet. Any other questions for the presenter, commissioners? Thank you, Clay. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. There being none, anybody here wishing to speak in opposition of this request, please come <laughs> forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? Come on up, ma'am. If you will, please state your name and your address for the record, please, ma'am. My name is Alita Lane. I live at 210 Branch Street in Hen Howard, Georgia. I received a letter from a uh, certified mail about the property being rezoned. Yes, ma'am. Um, I spoke with my sister and I spoke with my aunt. They live around on Stanfield Street too. We thought uh, that that would be too much for the traffic on Stanfield Street. My sister, she's, uh, she's, uh, she turned 67 today. And uh, no, my mama turned older today. My sister turned 67 yesterday. And she just, the traffic is already, you know, for Stanfield Street is already full. Even when I go over there, I had to back out, and the traffic was different, but see, when I raised up over there, there was only wood. I knew about the, uh, the stream and all that. I knew about all that. All that was wood. It was, uh, and I know they saw building homes and trailer parks and all that down there, and it looks good. I love all of that. And they got apartments down on the other end of a Union Road. They got four citizen apartments, which is all good. But we feel like right now, that would be too much traffic for that Stanfield Street. I live on the street. It's a curb coming in. Our house is here, and it's a curb going out down Sandfield Street to the middle road. And to me, the road is not wide enough. It's not big enough for that type of traffic that we're going to have with apartment complex being there. And so I'm against it for that reason. I love what they're doing out there, but right now I don't feel like we should do it now in Hay Harbor. I love Hay Harbor. We're going and raising, and raising that house right down Hay on Sandfield Street, and the growth is beautiful now. But for, for that to go off with a, a complex down here, it's just beautiful with the pine trees there to me, you know, on that area. It's just beautiful to me. And I would like for the, you know, y'all kind of, I know Mr. Riker, uh, I don't know any of the other gentlemen, but y'all might know me. I know Camille. But I'm, I'm sure the question that she was asking was some of the questions that I, would, I got answers to. And uh, she did a good job of asking the questions about the apartment complex and all that. But... I really, my cousin was supposed to be here, she had something else to do. Uh, she's a part of the family that lives on Stanfield Street, and it's a family unit, all of his family. My, my aunt lives right around the curb from us. My, my older sister, the one that lives in my mom's house now. I live in her other home, in, uh, on Branch Street. But like I'm saying, I, I'm against it for that reason. It'll bring too much traffic in there, and it's just already too much traffic, and the road can't have the traffic that we already had. And so that's why I'm strongly against it. I just feel like we should, a whole lot need to be done in that area for even for us. I heard about they're going to redo Union Road and Interstate and all that. That's good. I love that. But for now, we don't need an apartment complex out in that area as of now. I appreciate y'all. I vote against it or whatever, but I'll go back to my counselor. I know all of them. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for coming and, and, and giving us your concern. Does anybody here have a call, question or comment for the presenter? Thank you, Ms. Lane. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Is that some of your concern about what she said about that? Exactly. I've had this conversation with Ms. Lane. Um, I, I would just say the city's aware of it, and, and, and I guess if you want the, my comments, the page which shows the, uh, the overlay there with the multicolored, you'll see the intersection 29 from the interstate, that road that veers off and runs down is going to be either the on ramp or the off ramp. There's going to be some major renovations at that 
interstate intersection. That little road that Miss Lane talked about is a substandard road. And the city's aware of that, and they know they're going to have to make some major renovations, but they want to wait until after the interchange is done. But that's a commitment you need to get from the city council. We only do zoning here. Yeah. The engineering comes from the city council. They're aware of it. They know that they're going to have to do something with it. That's all. All right. Is anybody else here wishing to speak? Against this request, please come forward. Anybody here wishing to speak against this request? There be none. Commissioners, do we have, need to have any discussion amongst ourselves before we call for a motion on this request? Any discussion on this request before we call for a motion? Can I get just a quick clarification from yes. the Commissioner Clam, yes. um, Tracy? Section 19.5 refers to the open space criteria. Is that public space or is it just amenities for the community? That's open space. Oh, but it doesn't mean, it does, it's not necessarily public access. It's just right. open space, which may be a park, which may be a playground. Or open air. Correct. Thank you. Just as long as it meets the 30,000 square feet obligation. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Any other questions or discussion amongst ourselves? If not, at this time, I will... Be happy to entertain a motion on this request. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make the recommendation to uh, recommend approval to the Hayhower City Council for HA2016-01, the Chancey Development. Okay, so we have a motion for Commissioner Hall as approval. Do we have a second? We have a, a second from Commissioner Wiles. Any discussion on the motion? Commissioner Willis, give that look on your face. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a motion for approval. We have a second from Commissioner Wiles. All those in favor of this motion, please signify by raising your right hand. That is seven for those wishing to speak against this request. That's one. Two. I'm sorry. You didn't read your hand a bit higher down there, you commissioner. Thank you very much. <laughs> so it's actually six two in favor of Ms. Carmel. Six two on the approval. Thank you, ma'am. Tracy, thank you for that. You are not